Hey guys, my name is Jesse aka Forceron Gamer and welcome back to my channel. Today's, today's video will be teaching you the location of infinite loot chests. First things first, go to the patrol on earth. From there, make your way to Rocket Yard. Now, once you get to Rocket Yard, just go, just follow my path. It'll, you're gonna probably have to fight a couple enemies, or you can just go right by them. You're probably gonna have to fight the Vandals and uh, their, and or a Servitor once you get here, but because they're at the entrance of the of the building. If you're unlucky like me and the chest doesn't spawn first time, you're probably going to have to run around and just collect the other loot chests and then go back to the start or the beginning of um, of the level. And that was where you first came out of the mouth of the cave or building or wherever you were. Go back there and then go back and look at the loot chests in the general area and you'll probably find a couple and then just keep doing that until the chest re reappears. Now, once the chest is spawned, quickly click the loot and then run way up the stairs and just follow this path until you get to King Wa King's Watch. The reason you have to go all the way to King's Watch and not run, out the run outside the building or do anything else is because once you get to that area, you're technically a part of a different level. Or something like that. Anyways, once you get there, it triggers the spawning of that chest. So you run quickly, you just quickly run back, and then boom, the chest will spawn and you. I will show you guys how to do that a few more times. But yeah, just enjoy the music and just watch. The perks about this this single loot chest instead of doing an entire run, it only takes a minute to a minute and a half to fully collect the loot, run back and forth and collect the loot again. Just about a minute to a minute and a half, you can time it yourself or just take my word for it, I really don't care. Also, it gets you about 30 to 60 spin metal each time you collect the chest, or sometimes you get the nice chests that give you a few uncommon items and like a little more glimmer and the same like one or two spin metal, but there are the occasions where you get that rare chest, which I was unfortunately unlucky enough to get. The rare chest usually consists of six or more spin metal, uh, varies I think about 200 glimmer, and it can give you legendary engrams. It usually gives you at least two um, rare or decoherent en engrams. But yeah, anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like the video, rate the video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys later.